a, a general rule of thumb that I have in life is that most people don't see themselves as villains. Even the most villainous people feel a need to justify their actions. They feel a need to see themselves as being on the side of the angels. Um, and when you looked at his thought process, it was very humanizing in a way that I think uh, a lot of people on the outside, just we, we don't see these people that way. But his yes. description of how he saw his job right. was essentially harm reduction. Right. That's like his point. description was kind of that. Yes, the United States does these absolutely horrible things. And my deal with myself was essentially, he said, am I doing more good than harm? Am I by being there? Am I preventing worse things from happening? So that was fascinating to me. His baseline was that our policies are horrible and his job was to try to talk them out of giving weapons to murderous regimes with horrific human rights violations in so far as he could manage to do that. And his resignation, his logic for this resignation was that he had no avenue to make it better. So the deal he had made with himself, uh, he would have to break it if he continued to work there because he could not do any harm reduction in this situation. That was a very interesting insight into the fact that, look, well, you think these people at the State Department are walking around going, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. They believe they're doing the right thing. And I'm sure there are a lot of people like him who recognize that American foreign policy is horrific and murderous and see themselves as trying to ameliorate that reality. Most of them just don't speak out like this. Right. Because most of them just go along to get along until it's too late, until they're at the top. And then once you're at the top, it requires a lot of courage. And, you know, this is where you get the real psychos at the top. That's why people who rise to the level of Anthony Blinken are such psychopaths, because right. only the right. psychopaths can actually stick around long enough right. and eat enough shit to get to the top. Only the people who have no soul whatsoever, no morality whatsoever, get to the top. Now, of course, a thing like this doesn't happen every two years. Right. So this is an extreme example. But if you look at what our foreign policy has been in the region, yeah, it's been atrocious. It's been absolutely atrocious. That's why Hillary Clinton gets to be secretary of state, because Hillary Clinton would poison her grandmother for a dollar. Right. right. Uh, right. John Kerry, same thing. Rex Tillerson, oil guy. You know, everybody who rises to that level is someone who's willing to do just about anything to rise to that level. The system filters out the people like Josh Paul. That's why Josh Paul will never be secretary of state, because he doesn't stick around long enough to get there because he has too much of a conscience up here. 